Fellas, number two for the day. I know I'm spoiling y'all. No need to comment in the comment section below. But guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out a new and upcoming game called Armored Battle. And a very quick overview of what this game does. It's a tank and crew management simulation game where you're a tank commander and your skills are tested. Kind of like Bomber Crew, but for tanks. And as you can see, it is shaped around World War I. The game, as said before, is an upcoming, it's not out yet. However, you can join their Discord or just whitelist it uh, via Steam and get notified when it gets released. At the same time, I will probably let you know when the game's out to where the campaign is fully operational. Right now, we can only use or play the tutorial and check the garage out. Okay, guys, welcome. Okay, welcome to the basic tank commander course. I'll be your instructor for the next few minutes. Hold middle mouse button or alt, or alt key to rotate camera. Alt's nice. Oh, wow. Zoom in, zoom out. X to toggle x-ray. Oh, meet your first crew. Say hi to him. William, left click your crew. And anywhere to deselect your crew. Okay. Okay, William, you can also select crew using the top panel. Okay, so it looks like William's going to be our driver. And then right click. <laughs> I love how they're doing World War I first. I mean, maybe they're only doing World War I in, in general, but World War I, you know, the tanks are so massive. And, you know, some of the tanks they could add, some of the ridiculous late war tanks of World War I, like the Tsar tank and the German behemoth. Okay, wow. Okay, so we actually drive this. Well, I mean, I, I thought we were just going to click around. So we can click off X-ray and we're driving right now. Oh, wow. Guys, I'm going to like this game already. Now drive to the, to the designated point indicated with a red arrow. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited. Okay, we slowed down in the muck. Where did this game come from? This was not on my radar at all. Okay, line up perfectly. And we'll hold. Time to learn how to shoot enemies. <laughs> Dude, guys, I can't wait till the campaign comes out. Get the crew. Okay, let's press x-ray again. Okay, so we're going to use the machine gun here. Okay, I gotta stop double left clicking. Left click, right click. Okay, oh no, the machine gun has no ammo. Okay. Order your crew to go to the ammo storage to grab some. Okay. William's a good old chap hustling in this big old tank. Okay, taking out light ammo. Okay, he's got the ammo. Let's bring him back to the gun. He's so nonchalant. He's like, yeah, we're just, you know. At the same time, he probably realizes he's in a training event right now. And sure, all three targets are in the firing arc. Yep, they are in the firing arc. Okay. William just loaded the gun too, as you saw. Okay, try to activate any of the abilities from the, okay, combat reload. Rapid fire. So combat reload means that I'm just going to be able to reload faster. Rapid fire means that, well, I'm going to be able to shoot a little bit quicker. Okay, this is the enemy tank. It looks like a uh, French tank over there. At least to my knowledge. Machine gun you are using. Good. I like how a machine gun cannot kill a, uh, a tank. Switch to the six-pounder cannon. Okay, I got to get, I gotta get ammo for it, though. Okay, so, whoa, this is a lot to deal with real quick. Okay, select target, selection to hard. Okay. Whoa, what the heck just happened there? Currently, canister shot is selected. No, we don't want that because that's, okay, that's pretty much a big old shotgun. We're going to switch, yeah, as you can see, it's like a big old shotgun. Switch to AP. Okay, we, it is on AP. He's loaded. And on the way. There we go. We have an enemy target behind cover. Time to call in artillery. Sorry, I'm a little... This is just... I don't know. Like, this is... I, I would think this is a game that I would have really known about. Okay. Calling in support requires command CP points. Or CP artillery can call it in using signal panel on the bottom. Okay. Calling in. Continue. We're on a tight budget. 500 CP is all we have. That's perfect. Just enough. Nice. So we'll call it right on the backside. On the way. Yeah, 
Oh, geez, little, little close for comfort there. Okay, that's complete. All right, we'll proceed to the first aid training. This is, oh, okay, we have a new crew member, Albert. Oh, geez, Albert just got, okay. Um, grab a med kit. So I believe William has to do that. William will grab a med kit and then bring it to Albert who bumped his head. Go grab more medic kit to heal crew to full health. Okay, so we've revived him. It's good to see William actually have a, you know, nice little hustle on. And then we bring that back to Albert. Now, this is nowhere near a finished product, but what I would like to see in a tank is these modules um, not have the, you know, the blue and the green to where we can actually see through and you know see what we're looking at see the ammo see the crew faces see the uh radio for the artillery the ammo and the ammo rack etc that's what i would like to see but this, this is this is still in development that's just my feedback if the designers of this game developers are watching Ooh, slightly dull engine maintenance hey we got to do it though this engine is state-of-the-art in great britain <laughs> i love how it's in the middle it really is I've, I've i've been in one of these tanks at um at bovington Oh crap, engine fire, put it out. Okay, I'm gonna just click on it. That is not good inside of the tank at all. There you go. Okay, the engine damage, wait for your crew to repair it. Okay, fire douse, engine repaired. That wasn't really that dull. Let's put William back in the damn just received a port of enemy infiltration. Okay, yes, we have a uh a a, a captured French Renault for the German military. Okay, yep. Get practice. Important info. Okay, so here is our tank. Our tank's name Liberty, I presume. Wow, we got to manage our fuel reserve and our health, which I would think, but I didn't really think we have to do fuel. Oh my goodness, this tank. This is a tank module in info panel. It provides quick access to all modules and their status. A lot, a lot can go wrong in our, wow, okay, we have full crew. All right, let's get everyone manned up as best as possible here. We'll have Desmond and Francis on the six pounders. And then John on the side machine guns. And then William will keep you as driver. And then Albert will be on this gun as well. Okay, it looks like we have a pretty top niche setup here. Or top notch, excuse me. Um, let's load one of these for infantry. And we'll do HE. And the other one will set up for an anti-tank AP hard target. And this guy already doesn't... This guy will be infantry. Do you need to reload the gun? You need ammo, go get it right now. I think that's what it's telling me. This is gonna get hectic in a, like a proper battle, like a like non-tutorial. Okay, I'm on the MG, good to go. All right, we'll get off X-ray here. Nice slow drive to Alpha, attack the A point is a go. Now we should be able to take out trees with this. Might not be the most, it might be more effective to go around the trees. Okay. Maybe not. I love how there's physics in this game. Like, if there's a, you know, steep enough inclination, our tank won't be able to get up it at all. It's not just like you press W and you're, you know, sure to go through anything. Receiving fire. HE shots are on the way. We're just gonna use this as like a proper uh, trench assault tank. Now, Desmond has the AP, so let's let Desmond engage that tank first. There we go, good shot, Desmond. He's in perfect line. Fire! Come on, Desmond, we can't have that. Now, instead of that, we'll have this guy shoot uh, AP. Now we should be lined up both guns, right? Or is that impossible? That's impossible. Okay, so one or the other will shoot. Direct hit. Maybe Desmond will shoot now. 
Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll traverse left and right to let the uh, gunners... I got to stop um, moving so much. There we go. Beautiful hit. This guy hasn't shot us at all. Oh, he only has like a 20 mil or something. Which still, I think, should be able to go through. Okay, one of our gunners is out of ammunition. Yeah, he can't penetrate our armor. So nice with the tutorial. Don't have to worry about anything. God, take him out, guys. We're on we're on AP, right? We're gonna push it a little bit closer. Maybe it's the range that's um, not letting us do it. Okay, Ernest, what's the problem here? You out of ammunition for that gun? We'll get some more then. Passing over the trench, like I was designed to do, perfect. Go back to your gun. He is smoking. Maybe a side shot we have to do. No, no, he's going to traverse with us. There we go. Okay, we got one with the side armor. Tank destroyed. Okay, we have friendly troops on the way, it seems. Now, let's make sure our tank is good to go. Wow. A little bit damaged there on out, or just our... Um, Hey, friendly troops are inbound. It's going to be hard to manage all these systems when it's like a true fight. The okay, operational, the the British are here. Okay, A is ours. Mission completed. Area secured. I wonder how we're going to refuel through the battle. So that's pretty much how this game is going to work. Hopefully, we'll have some cool missions where there's more than you know just us assaulting, and we can really assault a front line. That's something I'm really looking forward to. Now, we're not going to end this yet. We're going to go back to the garage and see what that does for us. So here's the garage. As we see, we have the Renault and then the Mark V or whatever version this is. And an internal fire inside without ventilation. This should go well. Now, Arsenal. Now, click on this one. So it looks like we only have one tank to use. Six pounders. Any upgrades can we get? Wow. Okay, so we can get twin Vickers, twin Lewis, a six pounder, a large flame projector, and a 3.7 mountain howitzer. The machine guns. Wait, is this, this one looks like a... Okay, we can... M1914 machine gun hotchkiss. Three mil... Oh, cool. So this will tell us three millimeter of armor penetration. Let's go to the six pounder. So this one only has 12 millimeters of penetration. This one should have a higher penetration. No, it doesn't. I think I'm reading this right, but yeah, these still have the same amount of uh, penetration, the six pounder and the three pounder. Now let's go to the, oh, okay. So this is where we can pick our crew. This is William, Albert. Okay, Albert's going to be the default driver. We were playing it wrong. Albert was a driver. William was a gunner. Desmond looks like he's a medic and a gunner. Francis, who... Gosh, I wonder if he can snipe outside of the tank as well. Looks like he has a uh, scope on his rifle. Then we have the mechanic, who's sad. Feels bad, man. And then we have Ernest, who looks kind of optimistic. Okay, armor. So I think what this will get, allow us to do is check out the other tanks. But, God, there's so much that they could do with this game. So many historical events. And then they could even move it on to World War II. And modern. Imagine doing an M1 Abrams. I'm just kidding. Let's, let, let, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Playground. Let's go to the playground. See what that's about. Is there, there better be a sandbox. Driving course, firing range. Let's go to the firing range. Um, is my crew not assigned yet? Oh, okay. So we got to assign them. I wonder if it's like a quick. No, we got to individually assign. Okay, we'll just put the, the driver up. I wonder how we can refuel though.
Ah, right here is where we can repair. So I think, hang on, let's just see what it does to our fuel here. Okay, there's a bar going, or a circle and closing. Yeah, that's how we do it right there. So, you know, with having to maintain fuel and having supply drops like this, I, I would assume, now assuming it's not the best thing to do, that we're going to have some pretty long missions. We're going to have to travel a while to get the job done. Really looking forward to this game. Popped out of nowhere. If you guys want to whitelist it or join the Discord to ask questions and see what this game has to offer even more than we've shown today, feel free to check out their Discord in the description below. Fellas, have a good Sunday. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.